Welcome to the Minecraft Education Edition NPC Tutorial. You don't have to be an expert in Minecraft to be able to lead a Minecraft lesson in the classroom. And learning how to use NPCs in Minecraft will give you a very powerful set of tools to create lessons and give you the confidence to play, create and learn. So get your mouse and keyboard ready and let's begin. An NPC non-player character is a character not controlled by the player. They could be used to display text and provide the user with options in the form of buttons. NPCs act as guides in Minecraft worlds, providing instructions and information to help players learn and complete activities. In this lesson, we'll learn how to place and then modify an NPC. Right click the NPC beside this sign to get started. OK, let's right click the NPC and find out what happens next. The NPC says, we'll need to open this gate if we'd like to get into the next area. Press the open gate button when you're ready to proceed. You can also close the gate again by pressing the close gate button. Well, let's give it a go. Brilliant. I could close the gate, but I want to see what's waiting around the next corner. One of the notable features of an NPC is its support for the immersive reader. Right click the NPC and then locate and click the button in the bottom right hand corner that looks like an open book. That will open up the immersive reader. The immersive reader is packed with features. Have a look about and then to exit the reader click on the arrow on the upper left corner to return to Minecraft. The gate has now opened and we can venture to the next area enabling World Builder to configure NPCs. Before you can configure an NPC, you first need to enable World Builder to see its settings. You can toggle this on and off by opening chat by pressing T on your keyboard and typing the following command, forward slash WB. You should now see a message on the screen that says either World Builder status updated to true or World Builder status updated to false. Enable World Builder and right click the NPC beside this board to see its settings. And then left click it when you're done to remove it. Let's first type forward slash WB and then right click the NPC. As you can see, we can change the style and skin of the NPC and add dialogue, messages, commands, and links. But for now, let's exit the settings and left click the NPC. Now, onwards to the next area. Let's now create our own NPC from scratch. The first thing we'll need to do is enable World Builder mode again. You'll need to do that every time you log into a world. So we've turned it off as a reminder of that. Next, you'll need to place an NPC on the gold block to the right using the NPC spawn egg you were given. You can normally find this in your creative inventory. If you didn't turn on the World Builder ability, nothing will happen. Once spawned, move on to the next board. OK, type forward slash WB and right click the ground with the spawn egg. It's so colourful. Great, let's read the next board. An NPC has four things you can modify. Its name, dialogue, appearance and advanced settings that allow you to add buttons. Name and appearance or skin can be set from the main interface by typing the name in the provided text box and selecting which skin you want to display. To edit dialog, click the edit dialog button to bring up the dialog interface. When done, move on to the last sign. Okay, so right clicking an NPC opens up its settings. I could change name at the top the appearance or skin here, and let's add some dialogue. Um, hello world. Okay, let's read the last sign before we get carried away. The last sign says, you can add buttons by selecting the advanced settings button inside the NPC interface. There it will give you the choice of either adding a URL or a command. Selecting add command will allow you to add Minecraft commands that run either when you close the dialog box or when a button is pressed. Choosing add link instead will allow you to add a link. 
Right, I shall change the name first to Adam and then let's add a link to the Minecraft Education website. Open the URL button and paste a web link here. Close the interface by pressing the cross. Type forward slash WB. Remember to press the T button on your keyboard to open up chat to do this and then right click your new NPC. Now we have it, your very first NPC. Press the button when you finish to complete the lesson. Have fun and keep exploring.